Oh, <coughs> sweet Manitoba organic pouch tobacco. Mmm. All right. The rust. <coughs> Rusty tea. Mmm. The Rusty Report, we have broken news. I welcome my viewers from the United States and around the world. Hello, I'm not Wolf Blitzer, who looks like he is already a shocking Jim Carrey painting. The House Demon Karats are starting a sweeping probe into what the president called at CPAC, quote, bullshit. Can we get a CPAC cleaner in here? Can we get the CPAC cleaner? The Dems have released a long list of people they have hit up for evidence too long. Mob Congressman Matt Gayette said they are fishing with dynamite. Well, Matt, have you ever fished with dynamite? Wait until you see the results. Ha <laughs> ha. Have you even fished Gayettes? Like with a long pole. Hmm. But this list, nobody can read anything that long. It goes on and on. You got, let's see here, David uh, Pecker, Roger Stone and Paul Manafort, Donald Trump Jr., David Pecker Jr. Purse Lady is not on the list. Yeah, hands off the daughter. She is the Donalds, but Eric is. Jared Kushner, even. He has been designated expendable anyway. Uh, you got Scaramucci. Julian Assange. Good luck. Hope Hicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, David Pecker. I am even on there. It's wide-ranging. Anthony Weiner. John Boner. Mrs. David Pecker. Peter Pecker, his other boy. First time I heard of him. They have started a criminal probe into the security clearance for Jared Kushner, the son-in-law with the dancer's gate. A literal witch hunt or vampire hunt or whatever this guy is. He sleeps in a hyperbaric chamber with a baby camel. I just report the facts. He wears light makeup and has for years Jared. Jared, not the subway pervert, the other one. Tonight. Ah, tonight the UT Tower glows orange for the UT Women's Track and Field Big 12 Champions. Congratulations to those gals. The President will not be inviting them to the White House as he has never invited any female champions to the White House. Only men, yes. Hmm. Because individual one likes dictators, that guy is afraid of women. That's why he orders... Pizza, pizza, pizza. Ooh, I got pizza. Big pizza with little pizzas on top. Pizza, pizza. I'm doing my pizza, pizza dance. Blam! American Idol started uh, Sunday. Come on now. Come on now. A couple years ago, they had the 14th and last season of American Idol. Then it crawled back on again. It's like we voted Uber out of Austin in a special public referendum election a couple years ago, and they left, and Uber snuck back in when no one was looking, and now they're running over line bikers and duct tape raping people and delivering heroin from the border where the kilos are turned sideways to pass through the steel fence slats. Seriously, these people are smart. It's like they couldn't get heroin through the southern wall and someone went, ooh, if you turn the kilo of heroin sideways, it slides right through. Now, the people on American Idol, the contestants were a good crop of young, talented people, but the judges! Have you ever seen Reefer Madness? It was like that. You got Katy Perry and Lionel Richie and uh, Luke Bryan or Brian Luke or whatever doing the Three Stooges for two solid hours, but not as good. It's like if you had Three Stooges and one is a girl. 
I'm glad they legalized weed in California, but slow down, American Idol judges. Lionel Richie, take it easy. Easy like Sunday morning. I want to get high, okay, but slow down before you tape. Someone make him stick his tongue way out, then bonk him on top of the head, poke his eyes, and give him one of these. <clears throat> because I love Lionel Richie. I want to see him succeed. Less of that. Senators Rand Paul and Morris Udall have come up with a bilateral declaration to declare the Afghanistan war over and orderly bring the troops home. Okay, good luck. You have forgotten about the minerals. The minerals. That is expressly why we are there to extract their minerals, the rubies, the gold, the diamonds, the emeralds. The cinnabar to create mercury, the secret to anti-gravity. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Jake Tapper says, shouldn't we keep a small military presence to fight ISIS in Afghanistan? Uh, ISIS has been defeated. You've not seen the memo, Jake. It's at the end of the wear a purple tie with pink accents. You clearly got that part. <sighs> And please stop making those dumb cartoons, Jake Tapper. It's not your real house. Can someone, can we get Jim Carrey to do a frowny painting of him in bright colors of Jake Tapper? Show him up. Michael Jackson said he never had a child. Hood. So he got off on a technicality. Anyway, there is not only a new Jim Carrey painting that will shock you if you've never seen one of these things. They all look alike. There is a MJ documentary out now causing some controversy. It accuses known pedophile Michael Jackson, the pedophile, of being the world's most talented entertainer. Oh, really? He caught himself on fire in a Pepsi commercial, an amateurish move. You never see Lady Gaga doing that, or even Bradley Cooper, or Anderson Cooper. It was pretty obvious if he didn't have blinders on that this pedophile was singing songs the whole time, right in front of us. I will admit that much. I was a fan of the pre-op version as a kid, the non-bleached, handsome guy with a human nose. He was a pedophile for decades, and in special interviews, he's like, if the sparkly glove don't fit, you must acquit. But once he went bleached, his talent was leached. Oh, here's the Jim Carrey painting of Michael Jackson. It is scary as shit. Look at this. This is uh, individual one here. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Michael Jackson. Ah! Or maybe that's Michael, Michael Jackson. I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to reveal my painting of Jim Carrey. Here we go. I'm... Uh, I would like this on the Huffington Post as soon as possible. This is Rusty, Rusty Shackelford's painting of uh, Jim Carrey. Ah! 